Oh, sorry, let me introduce myself. I'm Jennifer Rogers. I'm the outreach coordinator for uh, LibreTex. Uh, thanks again, everyone, for joining us today. Um, if you're anything like me, your stress level is extraordinarily high at the moment. So hopefully this will give you a uh, needed distraction for at least a little while. Uh, let's see. So I have Christina first on my list. Christina, do you want to uh, unmute yourself and uh, introduce yourself? Hi, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Christina Moon. I teach uh, Spanish at Shabu College um, here in Hayward, California. Um, I, my OER book actually is in LibreTex. Um, it's a second year uh, grammar manual that I co-wrote with two other uh, colleagues of mine from Southern California. Um, we included H5P activities. I think we were the first ones uh, in, in LibreTex to embed that. And um, yeah, uh, we got the grant from the ASCCC uh, OER initiative and that's how um, our project got started. So yeah, it's been a long process. <laughs> Um, just Christina, while you're here already, uh, we have a question as uh, what is H5P? So you're better qualified to answer that than me. Could you give a, a oh, definition of H5P? Well, I, I, could, I could show what H5P looks like, but it is, uh, I, I, unless somebody has a more uh, techie te technology or what that is. Maybe Henry, Henry, you're there. <laughs> Maybe you can explain what that is, but I could show what it does. So I could show that. But Henry, do you want to explain it? You're nodding. I think it'd be good if you just show it because um, it looks like what Canvas has, but it's a bit fancier. Okay, let's see. Can everybody see this? Yes. Right. Okay, so this is uh, this is the uh, OER book that is in LibreTex. Uh, so for example, each of the units um, that we created uh, each of the chapters have three units and each of the units have a very similar you know component we we can we start with uh, a reading um, that we kind of co-wrote <laughs> and then the grammar explanation and then we get into the um, activity so this is h5p and it was created um, as an H5P activity. These are filling the blanks. So you type in the answer and you ch check for the answer. Uh, what's great about this is you can come in and embed. So you can take the code uh, and embed it into Canvas. Um, you can run it here. So students could come in and just run it here. And um, so what I've done, you know, just, just to practice with my students, um, not only just I send them here, but I also embed the actual activities into my Canvas site. And um, so I could, I, I, I'm not collecting. So this is the part that Delmar will have to work on. We, I, I would like to collect the data and see who is doing the work and getting the points. But for now, they're just doing it for practice. So. Uh, there are multiple type of activities that you can do in H5P uh, for accessibility issues. We um, stay just with the safe one, which was the filling the blanks. And even the filling the blanks require um, some um, little tweaking, um, as including as this I, meaning that the um, verb that the students have to conjugate are in this um, box with an I. And, but there, there are other features in there that we're hoping that H5P will work on their end to fix the accessibility issue. <laughs> this is really just meant to be sort of an informal discussion about um, OER and your use of OER and how you specifically use LibreTex um, in your studies. Um, should we go around and just discuss how everyone got into OER, your impetus behind, um, I'm assuming perhaps you were using commercial textbooks and decided to move away from those textbooks or resources at some point. Um, do you all wanna share your stories? I guess order, we can go in the same order again if you'd like. Christina, do you wanna start? Um, sure. So uh, about 
three years ago, I went to the uh, online teaching conference um, here in California, and I started hearing about you know OER. So I, I was intrigued. So when I went home and, and I started looking at what um, OER resources were available for Spanish, um, there were not that many. <laughs> and there were not that many that were actually completed. Um, as what happens with um, a lot of the cases, uh, funding runs out, time runs out. Uh, so there are a lot of incomplete uh, material out there. Um, so they started all you know, with great ideas and and somehow they ran out of steam or money or something happened. So I did find um, here and there, uh, I found a pretty interesting one from Georgia, but it was only half the book. Um, and I couldn't use that and ditch my publisher book for half a book because then what it would mean that I would need to get back to the publisher to continue the rest of the material. Um, so I started looking around and trying to figure out what I could find. And I stumbled upon um, Accesso, which is, uh, was created, uh, it's, it's created it, um, from the University of Kansas. It's one of the best ones I have found. Um, it's, it's a website, basically. It's in a website and um, it, it they created that, um, I think it started with uh, a class, graduate students. Graduate students are authoring all these uh, chapters and units uh, following a template. They've been doing that for several years and they have created one of the best and complete um, sources for cultural readings and activities. Uh, they in in integrated H5P uh, into uh, their, their new version, new edition of it. Uh, before that, they were using Flash, which was not good. Uh, so I was happy to see that they put in HIP activities. Now, uh, the problem that I found was that um, it didn't have enough grammar uh, component. It didn't have like the exercises. Uh, it, it was kind of on the side. Um, so I, I thought, okay, what it, it would be great if I could actually use what's there uh, and I cannot replace, I don't have graduate students that could be writing all those uh, great articles, but I could come up with uh, uh, an addition to that where you know the grammar would be um, at least beefed up on, on, their, on what's there and uh, using pretty much the, the same uh, order of their units and chapters, I added more into the grammar explanation uh, examples and the H5P activities. Um, I've been uh, using that, so I got rid of my uh, second year textbook for, second, uh, for, for Spanish. Uh, about so I've been using it for about three semesters um, and ha has been great. I mean, students actually love um, well the fact that they don't have to pay. Um, you know, I teach at a community college, so the, at one point our uh, textbooks uh, were about three hundred dollars way in the past, but more than the actual cost of the class. So how ridiculous is that? <laughs> the students are paying more for the books than the actual class, and. Um, and, and the fact that the, 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 I get the feedback from students. So if they find mistakes or, or errors, you know, I give them extra points because uh, as you know, there, after even after so many uh, people reading it, there are things that pop out, uh, typos. So it it's, has been a very interesting uh, journey and I have definitely learned a lot. And uh, my students are involved in, in, in this whole process. You know, I always tell them it's an experiment that they're part of. Um, Christina, want to show us what you have? Um, okay, so I'll show you another, um, I guess another unit. So just, um, you know, as a, as a <laughs> comment, uh, it, I, we wrote this book in six months. <laughs> so that, that was, uh, probably the biggest challenge. Um, so we, got the grant last summer so we uh, had so we got it in June uh, and we had to submit it by December uh, 
And uh, not only, I mean, I guess we could have just had it on, on Google Doc and submitted that, but that, that wasn't going to cut it for my class. So I pushed the team to get this into LibreText, which opened uh, another door. Uh, accessibility, like Brittany said, uh, has been probably the biggest challenge. Uh, not so much the content writing. Uh, we thought the content writing was going to be difficult, but it got to a point that um, we were paired up with an um, accessibility consultant um, provided by the grant. And that's how we pass. Uh, so I cut fully say that uh, our, our material that is here is fully accessible as much as we can determine and the accessibility consultant has, has told us. So after writing um, six months, um, then it got to the review process during uh, January, February, and we got the, the report uh, after we thought we were done from the, the accessibility consultant. So basically we were doing this backwards. We should have been told from day one that these were the issues with HYP. This is what you shouldn't have done, all those things. So we were, after we thought we were done, we were trying to fix all this. That took us almost another six months to do that. <laughs> Uh, we had to uh, rewrite some of the H5P activities. Um, H5P has very cool type of activities, so, but be careful. Um, H5P is um, based in Norway. They, they run their accessibility checker in a very different way. That's what we found. So although in their site, they said that all those things are accessible, they were running, um, different a different type of tests that uh, would not pass in the US. And definitely it would not pass uh, you know the, the people that gave us the grant. <laughs> so we had to fix um, so the uh, pick the words, uh, all the cool things that we liked about H5P, we had to ditch it basically. And we, we just stayed with multiple choice and filling the blanks. Uh, and we are addressing this with H5P. So H5P knows about this. They, they fix a few things, uh, but then uh, we are also dealing with the language issue. Um, since our material is in Spanish and um, apparently there's no way for the activities to to uh, change to from English to Spanish, the um, the reader is reading it as if it was English. So you can imagine it's pronouncing everything all incorrectly. Um, so there is no way of switching it, and I think that was the biggest issue uh, in terms of of us for not being in English. Um, but with that. We did manage to, to pass, um, and as, as you can see, what I like about LibreTex is the fact that, you know, uh, I'm sure that we'll, we're going to get into the remixer. Uh, a faculty could come in and take my book and basically change everything that is here. So if they don't like my shuffle college picture because this unit is about. Um, comparatives. So it, there's a chart about the cost of colleges uh, for community colleges. So this is all very localized, right? Community colleges and the example we were giving was for Shabo College. So uh, somebody, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the video. Um, the, my connection is unstable, it says. So the, the Somebody could come in and change all this and make it more relevant to their college. And uh, the examples that I have here uh, are based on that reading, that passage that we uh, wrote. And then below, so this is second year. So this, uh, where students actually have are uh, reviewing the, the content that was technically learned in first year. We also have included uh, an ojo, like, you know, like watch out attention section, uh, common mistakes that um, uh, heritage speakers make and also common mistakes that other um, Spanish learners would make. And then we have uh, follow up activities. So these are the multiple choice. So basically multiple choice and fill in the blanks. Those are the 
two types that we were able to keep. Um, for example, this activity, it was all one activity uh, with multiple sentences, but um, that didn't work. So we had to split. They all became, that's why they are labeled A, B, C uh, with the same instruction, but different sentences. Uh, so this was a way for us to be able to pass the, the accessibility test. And uh, just quickly, I wanted to show the, this is the Accesso, uh, that's how I got inspired by the University of Kansas, um, like I said. And they have added a lot more um, content. Uh, I, I noticed that too, but I would love this if this could be somehow integrated into LibreText, but that's another topic, I guess. Delmar says on it, but I don't know if that's in response to your comment <laughs> or somebody else. He knows, he knows. This was the first <laughs> oh, thing okay. I asked. Can he we bring this? Okay. okay. Well, then he's on it. So, <laughs> um, okay. Thanks, everyone. That was actually perfect timing. We have a 